Ha! A nice cut grass on this nice sunny evening. What could be better? Oh! Why don't we give the Fiesta its very first oil change with us? Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. And uh, it's a little bit later in the day, so hopefully the uh, it doesn't get dark too fast. I have no idea what time it is. Uh, earlier today, we went to church, went over to the in-laws for lunch. I developed a splitting migraine. So then I came home and I napped for about an hour or so. Took some Excedrin, tried to get rid of the migraine. and I had all the intention to do the yard and to do the oil change. But with the headache, I had to wait. And it was too hot. It was like 95 degrees today. We're finally getting into the summer and it was hot. So I waited a little bit longer for the temperature to cool down. And right now it's kind of sticky. I'm dirty. I'm sweaty. But it's comfortable out here. There's a nice breeze kind of blowing. So I got the yard done and now we'll go ahead and do the Fiesta's first oil change with us. The little yip yip's not barking at me today. So anyway, almost 24,000 miles. Now, this oil, eh, not a whole lot's been put on it since we bought the car in January. Because it was, I think, around 21,000 something when we bought the car. I don't remember offhand right now. Um, but needless to say, the uh, it's been, you know, five, six months almost. Um, the car does have uh, the synthetic blend oil in it, so... I let it go there and usually I go I go with the mileage on the car but because this hasn't been done yet and uh, uh oh <laughs> because it hasn't been done yet um, and it's been you know almost a six month mark uh, I'm just gonna do it the car is essentially still brand new in my opinion and uh, I just feel like I should just change it now and get it over with. So I've never done this on this car before. This will be the first experience. Hopefully it's a pretty simple change. I know the oil filter is on the bottom on the side so that'll probably be somewhat of a mess. Um, but needless to say it, it should be just like any other oil change. It should be should be quick. should be painless. So let's get under the hood and I'll show you guys what we're going to be dealing with. So this Fiesta is equipped with the 1.6 liter four-cylinder Duratec version with twin independent variable camshaft timing. Um, the Fiesta also has either a 1.6 EcoBoost engine uh, or the one liter three-cylinder. I'm pretty sure that this procedure will kind of go with all of those um, but this is probably one of the more common engines that you'll find in in the Fiesta so not a very big engine uh, like I said toward the bottom the filter is going to be there on its side the car has been sitting for a little bit so I'm actually going to start it and let it run for a minute or so kind of let the oil get warm and circulated um, and then we'll shut it off and get it off the ground Okay, so while that runs for a little bit, let me show you what I'm going to be using today. Now I actually went ahead and bought the official Motorcraft products for this oil change. The cost of the oil and the filter honestly does not, really didn't differ from anything else that I would have bought for the car. So the price was about the same and it's the actual Motorcraft stuff. If I could always get the Motorcraft stuff, I'd be very happy because obviously the Motorcraft is the official Ford product uh, brand and it's all designed and 
such it meets the requirements of each car and whatnot but anyway so here's the 5w20 synthetic blend this is the recommended oil for the 1.6 liter I'm pretty sure it's the recommended um, oil for the other two engines as well and this is the motorcraft oil filter there's your part number your motorcraft number and the actual Ford part number underneath so this is the oil filter that you would need if you're going with the motorcraft brand so that's what we're going to use today to do our oil change okay so that should be good enough for now okay so as always you want to make sure you, you have your safety first so set the parking brake since the car is going to be off the ground and you should chalk the rear wheels also I don't really have anything to chalk any the wheels except for this here brick but it seems to get me by for now okay so the car is up always have a jack stand nearby underneath in case the actual jack would happen to give out so this is placed on the frame there's really nothing up here no uh no direct frame going this way so you can actually see the engine and the transmission perfectly as well as a lot of other things so there's the oil filter it's, eh, it's not a bad spot um, I have a feeling it might be messy though uh, what's this belt cover cover for the belt very interesting so for this task we will need the um, I believe it's a 13 millimeter oil plugs right here yeah so it's gonna be a 13 we might need our oil filter wrench because since I didn't put that on there last time it's probably gonna be difficult to take off Your oil oil used oil basin of course and shop towels here we go not too bad oh this is probably gonna be hot okay alright while that's draining I'm going to dry this plug off Wipe down the threads a little bit. Check the seal on the inside of the plug, which honestly should be in pretty decent shape since the car is still new. Looks pretty good. So this will be ready to go back in. I will just let that sit there on the napkin. And the oil is pretty much almost drained out so we'll give it a few more minutes doesn't look like it's too bad also uh, before I did the plug you know don't forget to undo the cap to let the suction kind of help drain the uh, the oil out a little bit better I also pulled the dipstick up a little bit too just to give it a little more you know suction while you're under any car you just want to kind of check for any you know obvious leaks of any type but because of how new this car is everything looks really good so a leak would be pretty obvious but I'm not seeing anything so I believe we are okay we are coming down to the final drips from the oil crank case all right it's been dripping for quite a while now so it's safe to take our our plug I'm gonna have to use my other hand put the plug back in okay, got a hand tightened for a second we can move this out of the way and we'll go ahead and just snug it up I say it in all my oil change videos don't over tighten it Yeah. <sighs> 
just a little hand snug. And that's it. All right, so the plug's on. Now we get to play the filter game. So hopefully this will be, won't be too bad at least. The hose at the bottom there kind of gets in the way when you're trying to use your hand. So maybe next time around it won't be so bad. The good news is it should drain pretty easily since it's tilted. And there it goes. Not as big as a mess that I was expecting, which is good. Oh, it's splashing. It's still hot. <laughs> All right, there we go. Not bad. That was not bad. As bad as I was expecting. All right, so the filter's in there. Let me get my shop towel and kind of clean all that up a little bit. Yeah, that really wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Usually when the filters are on their side or they're underneath, you know, you could end up dropping them or they just leak everywhere and make a huge mess. This one's just kind of splattered here and there, so that's really not that bad. It's going to drip a little bit until I get the new filter on. Okay, let's prep the new filter. Okay, so as always, open up your new clean filter and kind of dip your finger in it. Then, rub the clean oil around this outer ring. This will prevent the uh, ring to crack and, and leak the oil out. It'll also keep the filter from sticking, hopefully, keep it from sticking uh, to the you know, the engine when you're taking it off for the next time, so that should be good there. And then put your cap back on so you don't knock this over and regret it deeply. Try to wipe down any oil that might be on this from your hands from earlier. And uh, you can see we're going for those threads right there. That's what we're gonna put the new filter on. The radiator hose here. I think that's the radiator hose. Anyway, that hose there is kind of, kind of makes it difficult to get a grip on. So hopefully, get it. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, I still have oil on my hands, so hopefully, just kind of. Hand tighten it. There's no need to over tighten it with any tool or anything. So once you get it right about there, maybe that's probably it's probably as snug as I could get it. So looks like it's on there pretty good. Now I'll take this and I'll wipe the rest of this down. All right, so our filter's in place, nice and tight. Our plug is in, nice and tight. Uh, I think we can get the car back on the ground now. Okay, so. This engine, and I'm pretty sure the other two engines also, the 1.6 and the 1 liter, pretty sure these are all 4.3 quarts. As you can see, we have a 5 quart jug. So basically, good thing is you can see the level on the side. 
and it'll tell you when you're down to one quart, two quart, whatever. So I'm going to pour about four quarts into the engine. I'll see where it registers on the dipstick and then I'll add a little more if needed. So I'm sure if you went over a little bit, you're probably not gonna hurt anything, but you definitely, if it's 4.3, you don't wanna use all five. Don't use all five. <laughs> Sometimes you can get away with a little bit of overfill, but if it's 4.3, I'm not even gonna risk it. So, um, I'll start off with four quarts, see where it's at, and add some if needed. Now, I only, I only have one funnel at the moment that I use for new and used oil, so you definitely wanna try to wipe out the inside as best you can so you don't get any previous oil contaminants that fits in there pretty nice. Um, in the new oil, and also wipe down the, uh, the end of it also. I also wipe down the end of that, so yeah, it sits in there nicely. Okay, and then we'll just start off with four quarts. Okay, so we probably got about 4.3 in there because this is just a hair under the one quart mark. If anything, maybe there's at least half in there. Okay, so there's two notches on the dipstick. The one that is closest to me, this one right here, indicates that it's full and it looks like we have reached that mark. Um, so I'd say it's good for now. You probably won't get an accurate reading, a perfect reading, until you start the car, let it run for a little bit, so that way everything gets circulated. The um, if the oil filter is not full already, which it probably isn't, judging from the angle, I would assume it's not full. So once that fills up, you know, of course the dipstick's going to read less. So I'll probably just run it for a little bit and then shut it off, wait a few minutes, check to see how it is. But for now, it's good. So we want to take this out. Hopefully we don't drip on anything. Yep. Set that there for now. We can use this. Maybe wipe off around the cap area. Okay. Then take your cap. There's also a ring around the cap. Maybe check to see if there's any cracks or anything in there. A little bit of dirt, maybe wipe it off. You see some dust. go. Now the cap's in better shape. All right, dipstick's in, cap is on. Okay, let's give it a start. Oil, life is, oil light is off, so we have oil pressure. Good. So we don't have any drips. That's from earlier. I think we'll shut it off and I'll let the oil kind of sink down and we'll see where the level is. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean everything up. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and check to see how we're doing. Alright, so it actually just made it to that level from the looks of it. 
So, as of right now, it's still good. We'll check it in a couple of days. See if we need to add any more. Other than that, no other complaints on the car. The car is running fine. It's been a wonderful car so far. Uh, you've probably either seen or not seen the uh, vlog that I put up not too long ago about the pros and cons of owning this car. And I really didn't have too many cons to give. I love, I love this car. So, that's going to end it for this. If you guys enjoyed this vlog or any of the other vlogs that I've put up or Mike's Vehicle Spotlight and such, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, thank you for watching. Hopefully you will subscribe and you'll look forward to um, other content in the future or past content. There's always something to check out on this channel. Guys, I stink. I'm dirty. <laughs> I've been very busy these last couple hours, so I'm going to go shower up and relax for the rest of the night. But well, don't forget to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, the official vehicle touring segment that I post here on this channel. There is a new MVS feature uploaded every Saturday. I missed one Saturday so far, as of right now. I'm not very happy about it, but the weather and just events for, throughout the week kind of kept me from going out and filming. So we're, we're trying really hard to do one vehicle spotlight feature uh, a week and usually those have been uploaded on a Saturday so every Saturday look forward to a new vlog uh, new Mike's vehicle spotlight until then thanks for watching you guys I gotta take the trash to the curb and uh, I'll see you later take care